All right, I was out rock fishing a couple days ago. I caught my limit of 10 rockfish. I portioned out the flays, vacuum sealed them, and put them in the freezer. But now I still have a bag full of carcasses. I'm gonna make another batch of fish fertilizer, fish hydrolysat. And while I do that, I'm gonna tell you the differences and the benefits of hydrolysat over fish emulsion. Two five gallon buckets, 10 fish, five fish per bucket. So I'm making fish hydrolysat as compared to fish emulsion. Fish emulsion is heat treated to do the breaking down and they add acid and they add other stuff to do the breaking down. This is not heat treated. This is broken down through enzymatic digestion that comes from the fish digestive tract and the fish stomach and also natural fermentation through bacteria and yeast just naturally occurring in the environment. After I put the fish in here, I'm going to add water to just cover the fish. For this volume and amount of fish, it was about two-thirds of the bucket was filled with water and fish carcasses. After this, I'm going to let it sit for six to eight weeks. At the end of that, I'm going to strain it through a half-inch hardware cloth. I have it spun into like a funnel, so I'm going to pour that into another bucket and that'll be my concentrate from there you're gonna have to do your own research and use so many tablespoons per per gallon when you fertilize your own garden fish hydrolysate and fish emulsion are both organic fertilizers derived from fish but they have some differences in their production processes and nutrient content for fish emulsion, fish emulsion is made by heating fish parts, usually whole fish or fish waste, and then adding acid to break down the fish into a liquid form. The nutrient con content of fish emulsion typically contains a balanced mix of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, NPK, along with trace elements. It's a quick release fertilizer, meaning nutrients are readily available to plants after application. Benefits of fish emulsion is that it's often used as a foliar spray and is quickly absorbed by plant leaves. It provides a rapid nutrient boost and promotes overall plant health. Fish hydrolysat. Production of fish hydrolysat is produced through a cold process that involves enzymatic digestion of fish proteins. This process retains more of the natural oils and nutrients found in the fish. The nutrient content of fish hydrolysate also contains a variety of nutrients including NPK but also amino acids, vitamins, and growth promoting substances. It tends to have a broader spectrum of nutrients compared to fish emulsion. Benefits of fish hydrolysat It is considered a more sustainable option as it often utilizes byproducts from the fish processing industry a more gradual release fertilizer providing nutrients to plants over a more extended period of time. So which is better? The choice between fish emulsion and fish hydrolysat depends on your specific needs and gardening practices. Here's some things for consideration. Quick versus gradual release. If you need a quick nutrient boost for your plants, fish emulsion might be the better option for you. If you prefer a gradual, longer-lasting release of nutrients, fish hydrolysat may be a better choice. As far as nutrient spectrum, fish hydrolysat tends to have a broader spectrum of nutrients, including growth-promoting substances. If you're looking for a more comprehensive fertilizer, fish hydrolysat may be preferred. Application methods. Fish emulsion is often used as a foliar spray, while fish hydrolysat is typically applied to the soil. Consider your preferred method of application. Environmental impact. Fish hydrolysat is often considered more environmentally friendly, as it makes use of fish processing byproducts. If sustainability is a concern of yours, this might be a good factor in your decision making. In summary, both fish emulsion and fish hydrolysate can be effective fertilizers, and the choice depends on your specific gardening goals and preferences. I know I like fish hydrolysate because 
I'm able to catch the fish myself. I don't need heat. I'm able to set it and forget it, stir it once a week. It's the better option for me, especially because it means I get to use everything from the fish I catch. I'm eating the fish. I'm using the rest in my garden and it offers a more well-balanced fertilizer. It's a clear winner for me. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man.